Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Mini FCU from Mini Cockpit. This product is still in development, but it does look very promising for all flight simmers and especially Airbus lovers. The plan for today is to take a look at its features and what we can expect from this product. For starters, to anyone who doesn't know what the FCU is, it stands for Flight Control Unit and it's basically where the pilots can input commands for the autopilot. And if you're more familiar with Boeing aircraft, you might know the MCP, which is basically the equivalent of the FCU but on a Boeing airplane. So this is Mini Cockpit's website, you can visit it at minicockpit.com and you can already take a look at their Mini FCU right over here. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see that the price will be around $250 once it's released. However, the pricing is a little bit different right now since they're hosting a Kickstarter campaign, and we'll get into that in a little bit later in the video. So here we have a really cool picture which shows us the real FCU of an Airbus airplane, and of course the Mini FCU up here. As you can tell, they're basically identical, which is really impressive how well they managed to replicate it. The only difference is that it's slightly smaller, which I'd say for flight simulation use is actually a good thing, as you'll have less trouble trying to fit it into your setup. And if we take a look at the little details like the ridges on the knobs, as you can see, they are basically identical to the real thing, which is really impressive. And I think all flight simmers can really appreciate how much attention to detail there is in this product. Another thing that you can notice is the backlighting is really similar as well, which I think will be especially nice when you're flying in a dark room. On this part of their website, we can see them talk about the push and pull aspect of the FCU on Airbus airplanes, which is something that differs greatly from Boeing airplanes where you just usually push buttons. Some people might not be the biggest fan of this philosophy, but there are other people who really love it. I found this a little bit difficult to get used to at first myself, but I remember I had this real Airbus A320 pilot explain to me how when you push the knobs, you're giving authority to the airplane, and when you pull them, you're taking it back to you. And as soon as I got it explained to me like that, I really appreciated this design. Now, of course, with the Mini FCU, you can expect the exact same functionality as with the real FCU by pushing and pulling the knobs like usual, and as well as being able to push these buttons over here, uh, just like you would on the real airplane. Again, here we can take a look at the really nice backlighting on the panel, which I think looks really, really, really nice. And this part of the website is talking about this programmable button, which you can assign to both being an expedite button, the flight director button, and the LS button, depending on your needs or what's more important to you. And here we have some more images which really show how compact this thing is. Now I personally think taking on an airplane is a little bit far, but if you're into that it seems possible too as it's really not that big at all and you can just sit it on your laptop right there and enjoy your flight simulation. Now a very important thing that concerns all flight simulator related things is compatibility. And I don't think this mini FCU will let you down in that regard, because it's supported both on X-Plane 11, X-Plane 12, and Microsoft Flight Simulator, which are the three main simulators, and supports Airbus airplanes from many major developers like TOLUS, Flight Factor, and Fly-By-Wire, as well as other developers. You can see all of the developers which are supported right over here. A cool thing to note is that they added the Phoenix A320 to the list, as this wasn't there before, so now you don't have to worry about that anymore. Now something else which is really exciting about this project is it doesn't just stop at the FCU. As their name suggests, Mini Cockpit, they're going to continue. They'll follow this project up with the Mini EFIS and a Mini ECAM. As far as I'm aware, the ECAM usually sits below the lower display unit, and in reality there's another EFIS on this side for the other pilot. However, for flight simulation, this makes much more sense to have it set up like this. And I think this setup would make flight simulation so much more immersive when you're choosing to fly an Airbus plane. Now that we took a look at their website, let's take a look at their Kickstarter campaign and see what they have to say on here. As we can see, this project is going very well so far as they've raised almost half a million dollars, and by the time we're watching this video, it's probably all already well past that, and they have over 3,400 people backing this project. Now a really cool illustration that we can see here on their Kickstarter is their plan for this project. And if we take a look towards the end of the project, we can see that in November they plan to have 5,000 units available. Right now we're coming towards the end of the crowdfunding stage, after that the mass production will begin, and then shortly after people can expect their units to start arriving. Now there's a whole lot more interesting information on this Kickstarter campaign, and I highly suggest that you read it, especially if you're interested in buying this product. Now speaking of buying, let's take a look at how the pricing works. Basically the earlier you are to try purchase this product, the cheaper you're going to get it for. For the launch day, was all the way down to $99. Of course, this is no longer available, but we still have other good deals available right now. As of the time that I'm making this video, there are 17 units left for $159, and once this is no longer available, you can start getting it for $200. But even then, when this Kickstarter campaign is over, the price will be $250, which I think is a really, really good deal for all the functionality that you're getting. Now, of course, we haven't used the product just yet, so we can't really talk about build quality and so on. However, in theory, this is looking really good, and I really can't wait to get my hands on this. Now that's most of the important information, just one last thing that I'd like to point out, this whole thing can be connected to your PC just via one USB cable, which I think is really convenient. This way you don't have to connect it to a new power source, or maybe have to connect multiple parts to your PC, it's just one cable and that's it which makes it very simple, especially for people who are not that good with technology. The thing is also plug and play, so theoretically you shouldn't have anything to install. So as I said, this product is looking very promising, and I highly suggest that you take a look at the Kickstarter campaign to see if you can help them out. The link to that will be in the description, and you can let me know about any questions that you have in the comments below. I can't wait to see how this project continues, and I'll continue to let you guys know anything about it that comes up. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you found it useful, feel free to subscribe and leave a like for more flight simulation content.